Finally, all moved out here when I was five, which was in the late 70s. I actually, so when I was five years old, so I actually started kindergarten in Maricopa. I actually went to um, K-12 school in, at MUSD. You know, uh, the fun thing I bring up is there's still a lot of uh, community members in Maricopa that I went to school with. And it's just, it's fun. It, it's fun, but it's also rewarding for me. But anyways, back then, so it's kind of interesting to look at, MUSD was 700 kids K-12. My gradu graduating class was like 63 kids uh, from, M from MHS. So I'm, I'm a Ram, graduated from MHS. The thing I really like to bring up and discuss is America Wells has about 900 kids, just at America Wells. The growth has been fun to see. I mean, I, I've enjoyed it. Yes, we're a small town, we're growing into a bigger town, but uh, enjoy the growth and have fun with it. And so I still, I live here in Maricopa. I, I actually built my own house. I live out in the farming area. I've raised seven kids. They've all gone to MUSD schools. Um, my wife actually is from MHS also. So it's just been fun for me to see the growth, but there's just a pride that I have for Maricopa to mm -hmm. improve and get better every day. This is my 25th year. Mm -hmm. I started out in 97, which is kind of funny for me to look back. It's 97. I started out teaching science. I taught science at middle school. Did one year, a little bit to high school, because back then it was one campus, so we could mm -hmm. do a little bit of both. But um, my heart is just middle school, always has been. Um, mm -hmm. Mentally, I'm like a middle school kid, so it's okay. So I have that same mentality. But yes, the, the growth that's happened has been fun to watch, and just the, the progress of Maricopa has been, has been great to see. The technology that was began and used has really prepared us for what we're doing now, and it's mm -hmm. the direction we're headed. The, the year before COVID really hit, we really started the one-to-one -one with laptops for every kid through the mm -hmm. district. And you talk about preparing for what was coming. Um, it really was prepared for that. So we had laptops for the kids. And so whether they're in person or at home, it was such a key to have that. And so through several community partnerships and stuff, mm -hmm. we were able to do that one-to-one. -one. And I'm proud to say it was great for our district. I mean, there's a lot of districts doing it now, but MUSD started this before COVID. Mm -hmm. And it really was a kind of a, we were ahead of the game when it came to that whole technology part of COVID. Technology is, is a, we've, technology's been around for strongly the last few, four years. I mean, mm -hmm. five, six years, I mean, depending on what you're to look at. Having that being taught at home and having the teacher in the classroom, again, that could be a challenge. But I'm telling you, the, the teachers did a great job. They had to adjust and they adjusted. But still, keeping the attention, keeping the, you know, some of those strategies that you can use in the classroom, had to expand those out so you could use them online. Mm -hmm. But keeping the kids' attention at home while you're teaching from, a, from your home or classroom was definitely a challenge. But you know, if you look at not only K-12, but you look at higher education and how that's opened up, there, that, that's the direction that, that that's a, it's a part of regular life now. For, and for some kids, I mean, especially middle school, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm to be the first to admit I'm a middle school mind and for me to have to do everything online could be difficult. And I'm, I look back and all of us, and I'm, I'm using myself, I, I never had to deal with what these kids have had to deal with the last two or three years. Um, but they've come through with flying colors. There's still struggles, but the kids are doing well, and particularly the staff still have that student-first attitude. And, and yes, some of those adjustments had to be made online, but the staff didn't give up. They just did it. Mm -hmm. So, proud of that. I can see growing up, well, there's always been parent participation. I think probably when you look at technology and the blessing it is to education, Mm -hmm. And that some of that stuff has, has, has kind of opened things up for kind of real-time opinions. And I'm not going to say it's all bad because it isn't. We have, there's, there's a lot of positive too. Mm -hmm. But I, I have to share that one of my passions, and, and I'm proud to say this, a teacher, will, educator will come to work, and they've always done this. They come to work, they work long hours, they work extra hours, work at home mm -hmm. and to get the job done. Whereas they don't know what's nearly really going to be on social media. It could be positive, it could be not so positive. Mm -hmm. And teachers deal with this on a daily basis. I know what the teachers are doing, and I know the work they put in, and, and the passion they have. But there's not too many professions that have to deal with that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And then after teachers deal with what they're doing every day, they may go home and have, that, have some stuff they got to deal with on social media. It's part of life, positive and negative. But educators, come back the next day and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I'm proud of. They, they, they will come back every day, 
doing the same thing, knowing there's different opinions. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to have different opinions. It's okay. I'm really proud of the fact, and I, and I love dealing with this, with this group of people, educators, because they come back every day, doing their best, working hard, no matter what the opinions are out there. Mm -hmm. So I'd say probably nowadays, when I look at the last 25 years, technology, first off, has been a big change, and that's been, but it's, it's, it's me positive. Mm -hmm. And the adjustments, you know, teachers can still use those strategies to keep those, their kids' attention, and they're doing that. Mm -hmm. But you expand in the social media and stuff, it's, it's a, it can be a challenge, but I think it, teachers still come to work every day and do their best they can, and, and they're getting the job done. So I'm proud of that.